Today we're using the Rev Air dryer on Cammie's hair. I've been wanting one for so long. Look at the difference. She's getting her first hair trim by Mama. So we start with the primer, the play it straight from Rev Air and the Rev Air dryer. The first things first, you have to separate the hair at least four sections and then detangle. Now when you're detangling the hair, make sure you start from the bottom of the hair and work your way up. Now as far as power is concerned, I only put it up to level three because she's still a toddler, so I didn't want to be too strong. And then you have options on the knob um, for the two is really high power and one at the bottom is a lower power. So put the primer on and run it all through the hair to get ready to blow dry. Now they say keep the blow dryer on the hair for 30 to 90 seconds. It really depends on how thick your hair is and how wet your hair is. Well her hair was already uh, detangled and her hair was dry so I didn't keep it on as long and it legit it did the job. Just enough for me at least. Well, she is all done and already has lint, but anyway, let's get into this trim. Now, I knew she needed a trim because her ends were discolored and they were splitting, so I knew they had to come off. First things first, go to the very bottom of the hair and detangle. You're going to do this in small sections, not big sections, because you want to get as much hair as possible. And make sure they're sitting up. So, separate, comb through, and find where you need to trim. Now, I, I personally didn't go too high because her hair is still growing and it wasn't horrible, but I cut off what was this color and what was splitting. I bought those scissors from Amazon. Now to make sure the hair will be even or as even as possible, you're going to take the next section and compare it to the last section's trim and just follow that line as much as possible to keep the hair even. Now for me, I'm not looking for her hair to be perfect. The goal is to trim off all of those dead ends. So the very bottom of her hair is very long and as you go inside, it's not as long. So I did not make it all even. I just trimmed off what was needed. Now she gets older and when she goes to professional, they can make her whole head even or I can too when she gets older. But for right now, the goal is getting off all split ends and keeping them from going up her hair shaft. So all I do next is just go around her entire head of hair and continue to trim off the dead ends as well as keeping her hair as even as possible. So get all that dead hair off. Now if you're not comfortable, please seek a professional hairstylist. I mean I have a lot of sisters that have a lot of hair. And I used to trim my own ends myself, so I'm more comfortable doing this. But if you're not, please seek a professional. After I'm done, I just go back through the hair to make sure I didn't miss any sections, look for any discoloration or split ends or even ends with knots on it just to get all that off the hair. Well, she's all done and then I go in and make sure that it's even across the bottom or make sure there isn't any lines where it looks a little bit too thin for my liking. And that is it. 
Then I give her some corals. Have it braided up because my baby cannot keep her hair out. It just, she gets lint everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a few things. Um, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments anything else that you want to see from this channel. Thanks again.